This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. Shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Cross start your eyes. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Heather B, I'm really excited to make this announcement because it's been a, quite some time since I've been able to do this, man. Yeah. Uh, this dude at one point was considered the Prince of the South. Now... <clears throat> I'm the Prince of the South. There it is, man. <laughs> Welcome, Scrappy, to the What's show, ladies and gentlemen. Swiss A. Swiss Naive. What's up, man? Me and What's this happening? dude, we done hung out so many different times. I was talking about a time, Scrap, and I, I, and I hung out, man. Well, let me say this. First of all, you know, people see you on TV, and a lot of, ironically, people, a lot of folks who see you now think you're a, a TV star, right. a, a reality TV star, right. and not really knowing your history. Dig that. You know, uh, does that bother you at all? No, nah, cause I ain't gonna lie, I, I I've been on the road doing shows, so they 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 put it together, you know what I'm saying, and and those that live up under a rock, you know what I'm saying, uh, the light shall shine one day. You feel me? Yeah, absolutely, man. You face a lot of adversity. I mean, first we we first was pretty much introduced to you when you was partnered up with um, Lil John, right? yeah, yeah, you know, and then y'all went y'all separate ways. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, first it was like me, me and John, we did our run, and um. Uh, he decided to, um, I guess, go on to other type of uh, ventures like DJing and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And I went on and, you know, just kept on doing my thing, rapping, touring, doing shows and stuff like that. And, and now it's just one day I wake up, I'm on TV every day. Now you're you on TV me? every day. Every day. But I just think even after John, you you, you even had a bout with um, a stint with G-Unit, right? Yeah, G-Unit, yeah. Okay, yep, and, and yep. That, that was what, one album in? Or? Yeah, one album in. Okay. And that, that was actually with 50 and John. Okay. Uh, like a, a, a two... Two label venture type thingy, you know what I'm saying? It was like it, it, it was one. It was real rare, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. That that two people like John and Fifty would even do that. But uh, rest in peace, Chris Lighter. He put it together, you know what I'm saying? And Fifty put it together, man. We made it happen. And then uh, my last deal I had, I was with uh, Ludacris and Def Jam. Yeah. you know what I'm saying? So DTP. And, yeah, DTP. And man, it was love. And that was love too, yeah, right? Yeah, it was all love, man. I learned a lot from them three dudes, man. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? I learned a lot. Through my little path, and and what I do know is, as long as you working, you know, <laughs> you just go keep going. As long as I'm breathing, I'm gonna keep working. It's gonna, I'm gonna make it happen. Because the people would say, okay, well, what happened to his rap career? Yeah, I mean, what what how I look at it is timing. You know what I'm saying? It's uh -huh. timing. Cause. I don't feel like I was ready to put nothing. I don't think I was at reaching my full potential back then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? Because I, I I wasn't really like a a crunk rapper like John made me that. Because uh -huh. I had other songs. I had songs that I wanted to go, that I wanted to show off myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is me. And he yeah. was like, well, they like, we some head was. They like the crunk stuff. So oh, wow. go in the crunk way. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, after you, you know, made it and got a name, then you can do everything else. Huh. So basically it's just a, what I've been doing is making a body full of work. You uh -huh, feel me? Uh -huh. Just a body so I can look at where's, where I was and where I'm at now. And I feel like I'm there now. Okay. I don't think I've been there the whole time. Like I, I scream, you know, I don't, I don't hit screen. Like, boy, this is the one right here, boy, this is the one. Uh -huh. And when I listen to it now, I'm like, boy, I'm glad ain't nobody play that. <laughs> you oh, me? Like, I'm glad ain't nobody <laughs> play that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just uh, blessed that didn't nobody play that. <laughs> so and, that you like after you make a record do you have like I don't know do you just put it aside for a week or two weeks then you have like fresh ears to listen nah, again nah 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 I can, I can almost tell like see I'm, I'm gonna tell you what happened I, I did a, 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 a situation where I went on a little hiatus from mm -hmm. rap and I ain't wanna deal with it no more cause so much politics I hear that. is in it, you know, especially when you're dealing, you, you, you by yourself, you're independent, and you got to do everything, mm -hmm. and I ain't know how to do everything, so I just got scared and just backed off from it, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, raise my little girl, you know what I'm saying, right. and do other stuff. That's but, a job, too. But um, when I came back to it, I thought I could just jump back in and it'd be okay, but nah, because it's new swag, it's new everything, you know what I'm saying, yeah. new flavor, in the, uh, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, so it's like... I was just stepping in like a time portal because mm -hmm. like it was different, you know what I'm saying? So, like even the crunk music was, it, it's still crunk music, but it's turnt. It's like a different name, you know what yeah, I'm saying? It yeah. still make you do the same thing, but it's a different name, you yeah. know what I'm saying? 
So it's like now I done um, evolved with the time, I feel. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And I'm still young. You're still young. Still young, but it, I just feel like I evolved Whoa. with the time, and now it's time. That's okay. crazy because it's funny that you use that word because I feel like I'm, I hear, not that you wasn't mature before, mm-hmm. but it's like another level of maturity, yeah. like even in your voice and the words you're speaking. Mm-hmm. So what's been your biggest lesson then so far in dealing, all of this? Dealing with the wrong people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My lesson... It. My lesson is dealing with the wrong people and, 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 you know, not being focused. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. you know, I had had a time where, you know, it was easy to, to get off tasks. You know, it's easy to, to uh, get in some trouble. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I, I, I was in jail there one last time like a year ago, and it was all on TV. And stuff. I went in there when they put me in there. I, I said, man, I can do this. This is nothing. I done did it plenty of times. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. nothing. Next thing you know. I laid down, went to sleep, woke up five minutes later. I was still in there. It wasn't a dream. <laughs> the wall was still right there. I was like, well, I'm too old for this, boy. Yeah. <laughs> too old for jail, huh? Yeah, I'm too old for jail. I ain't, they ain't that dude that like to go keep going back and forth. And I done did it a couple times. I'm done. You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't, they ain't got to tell me no more. You did, did people ask you to rap in jail? Man, they asked me to rap. They asked me to sign them. Uh-huh. <laughs> they, they asked me a hundred million questions about love and hip hop. You uh-huh. know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm in there. And they watching it. They like, boy, look, hey, look, hey, boy, look, you right here, boy, boy, you right here, boy. I swear to God, boy, let, let them out. Let them out. <laughs> Damn, you watching love and hip hop? I'm talking about the, the 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 sheriff coming there and bring me an extra mat to sleep on. You feel me? Wow. They show me love up in there, wow. but I ain't trying to be up in there. You feel? I want yeah. the love out here. Scrap is with us sway in the morning. Scrap yeah. Did you ever feel like women were a distraction at all? Exactly. That's all the distraction. <laughs> That's been every flaw I done had has been a woman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All my downfall. Bitches. But, um, Stop it, Sway. <laughs> Damn, bitches always getting men into Look at what yeah. the He's like a Mr. Romantic yeah. type. Yeah, man, Victor Cruz, this all this stuff going <laughs> on. Right. That that bars, you know, it's all of us women. Scrappy. Nah, <laughs> man. I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you, it, it wasn't even their fault. It was my fault because, you know, that's what I was chasing instead yeah. of my dream. You know what I'm saying? Like, at first, I was chasing my dream, and then I look over, and there's all these beautiful women. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get that pussy. Man, got to. Oh, gosh. I got to. You know what I'm saying? But nowadays, it's like, man, go get that money. Right. You know they, they, say, they say Victor had like 200 women. Victor, I don't believe it, but, but you ever had that? What's the most you ever had, you think, like in rotation? I done had a six them before. A, a six them? Yeah, yeah. I done had a six That's them before. That's something new. I swear to God. Six at yeah. the same time? Yeah, yeah. At the same time. Listen. Like that time when, you know, me and you know who broke up a long time ago? Yeah, yeah. Man, I went to Ohio. Shout out to Ohio. I went to Ohio, Cincinnati to be exact. And, man, I had like six bitches, y'all. And they was like, I got, I put them on a tour, but, and... I ain't, I wasn't even gonna do nothing at first. Yeah, at first. But I seen them going crazy on each other and they didn't even know each other. Mm-hmm. I said, we need to join in, fellas. You yeah, feel me? Yeah, yeah. And the fellas was like, they was just stunned. So when we got back to the room, man. I had women on women, me on women, you feel me? And more women on us, you feel me? Damn, man. And oh, it, your boys was a part of this, too. No, 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 no. I took this back to the Chris Naive. You yeah, feel me? you can't have the boys a part of that. <laughs> yeah, Tracy, for real. Okay, become, got it. Too so many, too many, many, that's too many this Naive. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's another genre of porn right here. Yeah. Got so, sword Bambi, fight. All right. What's, yeah. the, what's the latest <laughs> with you and Bambi and Erica? Or is there no latest? Um, ain't nothing ever gonna be with me and Erica. Uh, mm-hmm. that's just my daughter's mom. Um, um, other than that, you know what I'm saying, me and Bam, I think we're going through a situation right now. Mm-hmm. But, uh, hopefully it, it, you know, we get together. If not, you know what I'm saying, it's much love to her, you know what I'm saying, to her, her life and her career. Cause she an awesome lady, you did. Yeah. I hear that. Your, your mom, your mom is on TV. She's a, she's a big star now. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> your mom is the biggest star than everybody, man. Yeah, for real. I wish you would have brought her this morning. I thought hey, you might have brought her this morning. Mom, mom ain't feeling too good. She not feeling too, she good. feeling too good. Um, and she got married. Did she get married? Yeah, she got married. Yeah, and, and all that's real. Like all that's real. <laughs> all that's real. All that's really real. Yeah. Right. I, I I don't know why I get to do all the real stuff. You uh-huh. feel me? I guess because it really be happening in my life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like I don't. You can't make that up. Everything I go through, you can't make it up. It's another dude out there going through the same. Thing you feel me? Would you say reality t- uh, TV has helped your career or hurt your career uh, as an artist, as a rapper? I, I feel like it's both. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? It's both because, like you say, they get to the point where they just want to see you on TV, and they like, 
I hear the music that's tight, yeah. But when are you gonna be on TV? You feel yeah, me? Like, I'm trying yeah. to see that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you got the actual people that that love music, and they be like, "Boy, I just heard song, boy. That that shit was tight. What I just, you know, what I just heard in the club, boy. Yeah. What I just heard on the radio. Ooh, yeah. But you know, I don't let it get to me. You know what I'm saying? I just say I'm gonna keep working. God know what I want to do. My yeah. dream is to be at the top of the rap game. You know what I'm saying? And to be on TV at the same damn time. You, you still got that dream. My yeah. man Scrappy, man. I ain't mad at that. It's you got the Merlo's, Merlo's Way Out. It's a mixtape that's out now, but yeah. you brought something new for us to play I right now. I brought something new. Uh, matter of fact, like you say, I got Merlo's Way on iTunes right now. Go get it. You know what I'm saying? It's it's just a, a good body of work. You know, new Scrappy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but this new one right here I did with my little homie Solo Lucci You know what I'm saying It's called Keep It 1000 Cause you know We all We've been saying Keep It 100 for years now yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying Now yeah. time to go Time to set the standard A little higher You Next know what level, I'm saying man. Keep it all the way 1000 Don't lie to me Don't go around the corner You know what I'm saying uh-huh. Keep it 1000 Then stay right there Why you do it you let's, let's run Let's run We gonna roll it to Keep It 1000 You wanna talk with Scrappy 888 742 I got my man OQ Back in New York City OQ. Pushing buttons Go ahead OQ Keep It 1000 Yeah I like that Scrappy here We dropped a little Long time ago right yeah. I mean, well, you know, um, beneficially, you know what I'm saying, we keep that little on there to go with the catalog. You dig what I'm saying? I understand. But um, when you see him in the street, man, it's just scrappy, man. Just scrappy, man. Well, uh, Merlo, whichever one. Well, you were scrappy because as a kid, you was always scrapping, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, last time you had a fight? Oh, uh, shit. Shit, yesterday I was in court, man, fighting with the goddamn law. You feel me? Wow, damn. That's the longest fight ever. Yeah, man, I had to deal with I had to deal with something that happened two years from two years ago. I was like, damn, it can't even change. You feel me? Damn, two years. Look, nigga evolved, but then they be like, yeah, but you still did it though. You know what I'm saying? You gotta come take care of that. You did. Uh, what did you do? Or what they accused you of doing? Oh man, it was like some. It, it was some crazy stuff. Like some crazy. Small stuff, man, like that they'll take you to jail for. Uh-huh. I'm gonna tell you, like, <laughs> I've been I've been doing the the underground scene of everything. Okay. You feel me? Like okay. when it comes to houses, cars, I do it underground. You feel okay, me? Okay, black market. Yeah, I just start being official. You feel me? And uh-huh. on top of the game because of you feel me past endeavors that went bad. But yeah. uh, yo, this man two knows years, how to talk. Two years ago. You know what I'm saying? I get in the car, leaving one of the love and hip hop uh, things. I'm drunk. You feel me? Uh-huh. High as hell. You feel me? Running from the police still. You did. I run in the back of this dude. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Texan. Yeah. Oh. And drunk at the same damn time. Oh, <laughs> you was, scrappy. You was <laughs> high, drunk, Texan. At the same damn time. I was in the bad state of my life. You feel me? Okay. <laughs> it wasn't right. You did. Mm-hmm. I'm talking about like. My my auntie had to come. I'm talking about my auntie had to come up there, man. She stayed. She kept spraying the little the little lights off. Yeah. Just kept spraying the car. Just she just stayed in that bit. The holy came. She was still spraying in that bit. Like nah, listen, I'm telling you, we got to keep spraying. So they 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 got me for falling too close. I done tore down some Atlanta uh, city signs yeah. and everything. Like it was it was ugly. Plus he was like, man, I smell the marijuana, man. Yeah, you me, feel man. me? He, and like I say, I, I did black market. So. The car wasn't even registered. You oh, feel me? You got the wrong. To be on the street. The vending number had, wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't right. Then it, it didn't have no insurance on it. You feel me? So I went in there, man. But I got the best lawyer in the world, man. So he come, He say, man, listen, man. This man ain't got in trouble, man, in like a couple of years. You know what yeah. I'm saying? He give, good. give him a break. Give him a break. Yeah. I paid a little fizz on. The people didn't come. You know what I'm saying? To uh-huh. testify. So I was good. God bless me remarkably. Yeah, they, 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 they still want. They were like, you know, you could do like a month. You know what I'm saying? For not even having. I was like, man, I don't even go to jail no more. Like, I don't even do that. You know what I'm Yeah, and then you got to be watching yourself on TV again, loving hip hop. Oh, no, no, no. A month, I'll be back out. You okay. feel me? How's sobriety going? <laughs> Ah, uh, that is not going well. But, uh, <laughs> clearly, <laughs> clearly, honest though. Clearly not. No, I mean, I, I ain't gonna lie. Like when I did my sobriety, man, it was trying to get up out my case, man. I ain't gonna need a lot of nobody. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I want to be around my daughter. I want to be around getting money. Can't make no money from jail. You know what I'm saying? You can't do your dreams. All you can do is dream in jail. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to do that. You know, I ain't got nothing. 
I ain't got nothing to do in there. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm I'm busy about it. I got to get it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, my, my sobriety, like, it helps me get what I need. You did? So, that's what, like, that's the dark side of it. Like, that you, you running back and forth the court, mm-hmm. doing this, doing that. Yeah. So then... What would be like the ultimate peace? Will you just say if you sitting on your couch one day, you look out, you just go, you know what, I'm good. I had peace met? last night. Mm-hmm. I was so. sitting there smoking a blunt, mm-hmm. sipping some innocent, looking at Empire, watching Sway do his this night. Oh, oh, <laughs> wow. Come on, baby, let me know, man. I, I had know, peace man. last night. That I was, was sitting like there like peaceful for you. I ain't gonna, yeah, it was yeah. peaceful. I'm, I'm gonna tell you like mm-hmm. what's peaceful to me, man. Like every Sunday, and I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man. Right. Do what I do okay. for my friends and my family. I throw a big barbecue every Sunday, man. That's beautiful. My kid there, wow. my nieces and nephews, mm-hmm. cousins, mm-hmm. homeboys, they people, you know what I'm saying? My mama cooking. Everybody, it's just it, it just a, a wonderful feeling, man. And then, you know, I stay out in, in Stone Mountain, so in the back of my house, man, it's like a golf course and a big-ass mountain. You oh, did? Oh, wow, man. So we just all reflect on the, on the bad time to turn good, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. it's... You know, I ain't got no hate, man. You feel me? No way in my so jeans. Scrappy. Little scrappy, that. man. Give that man a round of applause, yeah. man. Yes, Fred. We got a couple of people on the phone lines. Let's go to a couple of them, OQ. Who we got on the line, OQ? We got Fred from ATL on line number one. What yeah. up, Fred? What up, Fred? Fred? Say what up to Scrappy. What you want to say? Fred, go ahead. Hey, what up? What up? What up, Scrappy? Hey, this what is, it do, uh, fool? Tanks. Man, this is Tanks, uh, older brother, dog. What's yeah, happening? I just want to let, <laughs> <laughs> let you know, man. I really appreciate the love, keeping it one thousand, man. Yo, you're a portion of our lives, man, and, um, and my family's life, man. You have done so much for Tank, man. I just want you to know, thank you so much for everything you've done, man. Man, appreciate I appreciate you. the gratification, too, homie. Bro. For real, I'm love. What's up, man? Who else we got on the line? On oh, Q, thank you, Fred. You're a citizen. That's way in the morning. That's the homie. We got Charlie from uh, St. Paul on line number two. Yo, what up, Charlie? How you doing? Charlie. Chuck, hey, hey, Chuck hey. on the line. Chuck, what up? Hey. St. Paul. Chuck, Chuck, you there? Yeah. Hey. Russell Go ahead, in the building. What's uh, up, Chuck? Hey, I just had a question. Uh, how do you feel about the Atlanta hip-hop scene right now? What new cats are you feeling? Uh, man, I'm always and forever feel uh, the home and future. I'm always feel thug. You know what I'm saying? Cause thug, he from where I'm from, Cleveland Avenue. Shout out to him. Um... I ain't gonna lie, man. Uh, the little, the little, um, uh, uh, what, what they, uh, Cool America dudes, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? They, they snapping these days, man. I did a song with them called, uh, uh, I forgot what it called, but it's hard. What, I, what, what, who, who, who you say? Uh, Cool America. Cool America. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, and, uh, hey. man, I, all the new groups, though. I love, I, love, I love everything. I love everything about my city. We got Mako in the back. We got Mako. Oh, yeah. yeah. He go stupid. He yeah. go dumb hard. All right. Mm-hmm. He's going to be on the show in a minute. Yeah. Hey, man, thanks for your call, man. Scrap, I want to thank you for coming through, man. I appreciate you having me, now, big Come bro. on, man. For you real. been talking about doing this for a second. Yeah, man. man. I be hearing you like, well, I'm coming to New York. Every time yeah. I come to New York, I can't get to you. Yeah, I know, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, crap, I be filming Empire, man. So sometimes I'm, you know what? I'm not there. Hey, man, you know what I believe, though? I feel yeah. like they had just too many of y'all on that one time the other night, yeah, the yeah, last yeah, night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, damn. It's a lot, a lot of cameos. It, but, 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 but I'm going to tell you what it's doing, though, man. It, it's, it's really beneficial to the black community. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Of entertainers. You know what I'm saying? Because y'all know to get black TV is hard. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, And we ain't talking about reality TV. We talking about like real acting. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that that right there, like to see you on there, yeah, on the whole another level, like that's that's a blessing, man. Ain't keep it? this shit going, Let's like, keep it popping, man. I ain't a lot of put on, I ain't gonna put on no more footage this year. No, there you go, man. Two man. sock <laughs> season, baby. Yeah, <laughs> man. That's a little scrappy, man. Get that, keep it one thousand off yeah. of that Merlot's way. That's the yeah. mixtape. You could get that on iTunes right now. Yeah. It's sway in the morning only from Shade Forty Five. Kilo.